What up, what up? Bankroll Tim, bet it up. All right, this is just a little shop update of what's, what's going on, what the business is. We got this cutlass right here out of Milwaukee. Doesn't have a back glass in it. Doesn't have a front glass in it. Got it covered up. Got that brand new, all other interior in it. And it's got it. Uh, the shop smells like straight leather. Boom. Good shit. The 30s. See them over there. Boom. Got all the parts right here. Everything. Dude's slowly been getting everything together. I gave him the parts list. All the stuff that I use. The trick chassis stuff. Obviously the wheel with brakes. Got from Winter Circle. Got the, the big... The bottom box got the big 16 inch rotor for the front. Uh, QE1 upper and lower tubular control lines. Boom. So, there'll be a full video on this car. I've been trying to give you guys, you know, videos of each car as I get them done. Video clips, you know, merge them together. Boom. Put it up. Look what I got here, y'all. I got me a Trans from a Trailblazer to 08. The trail, Trailblazer is 08. Two wheel drive, two wheel drive. Trailblazer two wheel drive. This thing supposedly only got like 85,000 on it. It's all good. It's got good fluid. Came out of a running driving vehicle. So hopefully everything goes well. I can get that in in the next month or so. Try to get my Trailblazer back together. My wheels are over there. Two of them got stabbed. Uh, because uh, back in, uh, what was it, back in July last year, uh, these marks uh, broke in and uh, vandalized my shop, stole my kids' uh, dirt bike, stuff like that. A little stupid shit, but they vandalized all my shit, my personal property. Didn't do nothing to nobody else's shit, but uh, my nephew, the little... Uh, he ain't got too many brains. Uh, he ain't, ain't got too many brain cells. That Mark kept telling his buddy, oh, woo, 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 and just keep, like, the Mark just keeps talking about me and talking about me. I'm dumb with him, dumb as a dad, dumb with all of him, and dude just keeps talking about me. Had my shop, uh, helped with, had my shop vandalized. Broke the door open, shit like that. But anyways, two of my 40s got stabbed. I got two brand new ones. They stabbed my 37s when they was on the truck. They took my nitrous bottle. Uh, we got proof that my nephew was the one that told dude, oh yeah, take the nitrous bottle, put it on the gas pedal of my truck because my ignition turns without a key and shit like that. They tried to blow up the motor in the trailblazer and they knew the trans didn't work, so that's why I didn't take the truck. All kinds of stupid shit. But anyways, uh, so yeah. Getting the truck back together so that we can go back together, whatever. But anyways, besides all that, got the candy orange, uh, Box shake up here, Polanos, changing the rear end, doing the new setup and everything on it. Boom. Uh, dude is keeping this rear end. I think he says he's selling it to a buddy or giving it to somebody or some shit. I got the backing plates off. I throw the axles and stuff back in it. Get it out from there. Um, I got the aluminum boxes going on, or aluminum setup going on for the coilovers. Uh, super drop boxes instead of these. These are the ugly ones that them other people be using. And uh, yeah. Yes. Brand new axles. These are the new ones, shortened. Uh, more for this car. The old ones right here, which were a set of motors. And I think I ended up going another inch shorter. We're gonna throw some uh, one inch spacers on there, all star for now. And then he's gonna be able to go with the bigger lip on the back. I'm gonna tuck it down a little bit more than what I had it before. Of course, the box shaggy sitting here. I got to cut the mounts out, still haven't done that. That's my shit. Um, Don's out of the car, still up there. Got the other cutlass out back still. Boom, I haven't been able to get it inside to get it uh, cut up. The scrap bin out there just got swapped out. So it took them a while to come get the scrap bin, swap it out. So in the time of me waiting or getting this car and waiting for this and this and that and waiting for axles and stuff like that, I could have uh, already had that car come in, cut it up, put the rest of it in the scrap bin. 
it's not stolen or anything. It's a white cutlass that was done on sixes that was done by somebody else. The job was stole from me, underbid, bam, then they had it forever. And then overcharged dude, then didn't give them tubs. Then it had to go back to them to get tubs. And then they put the tubs in it, charged man like another $2,100 when he already paid for tubs. And they did the tubs. Horrible. I mean, it's horrible. So when I get that thing in here to cut it apart, I'll film that too. I just can't believe they, you know, did that nasty ass job. I mean, me on my worst day. I mean, I'm not perfect at tubs, but they, they fucked it up. They fucked it up. But yeah, uh, the Monte Carlo, uh, Monte Carlo did the frame brakes and all that shit on it. I got a full video of everything I've done to this coming out. I was trying to get it done before the end of the month, but yeah, all the bracing is done. I gotta paint it yet. Got the removable cross member right there. He wanted it removable. So that way, uh, if you ever had to drop the exhaust, because the exhaust is all welded together. Side of frame mounts on this side. It's not a big rim car. He just wants some more clearance for some slicks. I think he did say he wants to run a 2810.5. So he'll be able to put a 2810.5 on here. It's not like the car squats or anything, but. So I'll notch that still, you know, roll it in, put the patch patch piece in here, but it have a curve to it. Roll the tub in. We've got to finish on back here. Oh, my welds, you know, not perfect. Not perfect. You can see where I tacked and when I went over it, but it's overlapped. Boom. So anyways, just some basics of what's going on in the shop. The 30s for that green cutlass. Bam. Oh. 24 karat gold plated or something like that. You pay for the rounds, then you paid to have them taken apart, and then sent the bar front barrels out to get gold and sent the center to get gold. I don't know, he said there was a lot of time and a lot of money in that. So, and of course, it's just lit, it's not leaning up against rim to rim, it's tire, rim to tire. And oh, yeah, all this stuff is when it happened when the, they came in and vandalized and. Did the stupid shit they did. Blah, blah, blah. The only person that lost out of that deal was me. I don't know that law. Like I said, they destroyed my shit. I had a $200 fossil watch, two $300 fossil watch. Brand new in the filing cabinet. They took it out and broke it. Uh, had some other shit. They, they took all my tools and they put them in the ProCharge Regal and took it to a house down around the, the corner here. The car had GPS, the cameras, this, that, whatever. So we got them on camera, we got this and that. Got the car back, they didn't hurt the car. A little bit of less tire tread and this uh, blower belt came off it, which they already had a blower belt problem. So, but nothing was touched on the car. Uh, the owner released the car to my kid, well, where we found the car. And we found his dirt bike, the big dirt bike, the other, not that one, that's the brand new one. But his other one, found at the house, boom, uh, got that back, and the little, well, the, no, all the tools. Got all the tool back, everything. And then we got the little bike recovered, the 125, brand new, 22, uh, it was recovered like a month or so after that. But anyways, that's what's going on in the shiz out. I still haven't cut this up. And I just wanted to try to get you guys updated, keep you guys updated. Today, blah. We got the turbo header saw down there. We're gonna double the gaskets or triple up the gaskets to get them to clear the head bolts and stuff. And make sure that's uh, on there nice and tight before we put the motor back in the car. We do have the taller mounts or the truck mounts on the block side. So that makes the motor sit up a little bit more that help it clear the turbo headers on the control arms and the steering shaft. And then the frame pads that are in the car, I gotta cut those out, bolt them to the block, set it down in there or bolt them to the Miles that are on the block. Set it down on there with the headers all attached. See where it clears. And if it doesn't clear, I'll put like a quarter inch plate underneath those to get it to sit up a little higher, but we should get it to clear. So yeah, that's what's going on. Oh, this is the new rear end, which is a 94, 95, 96 uh, bubble SS rear end. It had disc brakes. I had to take about three inches off. I gotta redo that number, but uh, we gutted it, got the rest of this stuff off here, got to clean it, and uh, get this one fabbed up. So I'm going to finish up 
this one, put the green cutlass on this lift, then I'm gonna jump on, get this rear end up on the bench, clean this off, everything's a mess. Get it up here, start getting everything cut off of it, get it all cleaned up. We got the super drop boxes going on there, do my under brace like I do, uh, get it narrowed. Got 410, uh, I'm pretty sure how you say it, rigid advertising all over ig facebook all that shit rigid gear we got true track center 30 spine and the gear 410 411 uh it only had a 373 in it uh bearing kit all that shit so it was bought from one place got everything all the right bearings everything's gonna fit right into there and that orange car right there has a 540 big block chevy in it we're gonna change some spark plug wires and shit like that because it got some little bitty spark plug wires his fans are not working right. He's got a new control box for the fans. We're gonna put that in. Uh, and we'll be able to test that out. Do a whole shot or two, see what it does. All right, y'all, that's where we're at. Trying to keep everybody updated. And videos will be coming out of this, videos will be coming out of that. The orange car, and of course, Don Zell's car, Oklahoma colors. We can get that back frame all situated. Get, I gotta get that. The main thing is getting that whole floor back put in there and i gotta cut it out the other shell that's out back all right y'all and these were the rims that were getting lifted on the weight bar and that was jordan with these on there and these are uh it's like 95 96 pounds a piece and everybody's like oh ain't no forward wheel weighing that much blah, blah, blah. everybody knows. these are 26s and people talk about tire pressure tire pressure has nothing to do with the weight which i know most of you guys are joking them guys whatever but anyways those on the bench and Jordan was lifting it I tried to lift it and I'm just a little out of shape for that but it's pretty heavy so it's definitely more than 225 pounds so if you guys saw that video you know what I'm talking about um yeah that's it all right update video of what's going on and today is March 29th better up oh, 2024 I go to out